beautiful day like this. So I'm on a mission to get a cup of tea, a quick cup of tea. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back. Today I'm on a mission. Uh, it involves a couple of junks of ram pike. Two junks here like that I just uh, cut off and you see in the video here. So I cut them off with my uh, little Ryobi uh, 18 volt battery operated saw. Love this little guy. Works, works like a charm. Anyway, yeah, I'm on a mission. So what am I doing this morning? Well, I've seen a few videos now with these uh, rocket stoves and Swedish candle stoves and stuff and uh, I decided well let's try something like that see see how that works and my mission is to see which one works a little which one works better for getting me to my cup of tea in the woods so you all know that I do enjoy a cup of tea in the woods and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole down to the top of this one and another hole into the side to make it a, 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 a wooden post rocket stove. And the other one, I'm going to take it and saw with the, with my Ryobi saw, cut some uh, saw saw cuts down through it, and make a Swedish candle stove. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put these two side by side. I'm going to light them using one of my fire starters and you've seen my fire starters here I made in a previous video so I'm going to use one fire starter in each each uh, stove and uh, see which one burns quicker or lights faster I said which one operates better I guess that would be a better way my theory is that the one with the slots in it is going to burn quicker so it's got more air coming into the bottom of the flame it's going to burn faster going to burn hotter going to burn quicker it won't burn as long as the other one is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the, the rocket stove with the two holes drilled in it, that's, that stove is going to last longer. So if you're cooking something for a long period of time, still, you're going to get more out of that stove. Um, that's my theory. I haven't done this yet. This is my first time doing this. So we'll see how it goes. What do you think is going to work better? So guys, we're about four minutes in. And this one is burning pretty slow. And that may be operator error. Trying to get it lit. This one over here seems to be going pretty good. It's getting a good draft from the bottom. And I used an inch and three, inch and a half, uh, inch and three eight, sorry, uh, drill bit for this spade bit, uh, just to uh, make sure I had a big enough hole to get my uh, starter in. Like I said this one here is burning much slower. Uh, doesn't seem to be going uh, as well as this one, but like I said, maybe it'll last longer. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll see which one. Which, uh, which kettle boils first? I suspect this one's going to boil first. And uh, I'll have my cup of tea anyway. So it's good to know. Hey guys, we're about uh, sorry, six minutes, almost seven minutes in, and I see steam coming out of that guy. And actually, that slow's actually slowed down a bit too. So, hmm, I was just thinking. My thinking was that I wouldn't have to add wood to this, but maybe I do. Add some kindling down in the middle of it. I figured it would just burn the junk from the inside. But I guess not. Anyway, this guy is struggling, but. Anyway, this guy, like I said, there's steam, steam coming out of the kettle, so that's good. So folks, the kettle is boiling. Yes, it's boiling. This guy, not so much. It is warmed, but it's definitely not boiled yet. And this one's actually gone out. So. My choice is the rocket stove, 
and like I said guys this is not a scientific experiment or anything as uh, like I said this guy might not might work fine if it was uh, if I had better uh, better lighting of it and so on but I'm definitely uh, impressed with this one so what time are we at now we'll see we're at about so 10 minutes and 45 seconds so 10 minutes or so and you can have a kettle ball on the rocket stove on well, my rocket stove anyway this guy I'm gonna have to move you over to the other stove I think now it's time to get the tea so folks I have one kettle boiled I'll get my cup of tea oh yes this is gonna be good what I'll do when I'm waiting is we'll put this guy over here get him boiled up So my theory was incorrect. I fully expected the uh, slotted Swedish Swedish candle stove to burn much quicker and faster. Uh, maybe it was me. I didn't get it lit properly. I, did, I mean, it, it did burn for a bit, but uh, not not a whole lot. Not as well as this thing. This thing is drawing like a chimney, I guess, and uh, it works well. So that would be my preference. And most guys, a lot of fellows, go in the woods and. They, it's, instead of having a junk like this, they, they, you know, they see a ram pipe, cut the rabbit down, leave the stump on the uh, in the ground, and then make your uh, kettle out of that. Now, if you're in with a chainsaw, you probably have better luck making that one. You need to bring a drill bit for that one, of course. But anyway, so this works. Uh, like I said, it's something I want to try. I'm going to enjoy my cup of tea, and once I get this thing boiled up, I'm going to cook a little, cook a little, cook a little grub. Cheers, folks. Oh yeah, nothing like a cup of tea outside. Good stuff. So every now and then guys, the wind picks up and the rocket stove goes into rocket mode. That's good to know. Mmm. Oh, that's good, guys. Mm-hmm. Put these over there for you, buddy. Hot yet. I lay it over here. It's too hot for you yet. Mm-mm. Cup of tea, guys. A little snack in the snack. Mm. I'll save some for my buddy over there. He's waiting patiently. Oh. Hmm. So folks, uh, my little experiment with the rocket stove was not a 100% success. I had some issues lighting the uh, Swedish candle version and then that's on me. Um, I'm sure the Swedish candle would work. I've seen other people use it on YouTube so I've seen it working. Uh, the rocket stove definitely much easier to light. Um, and like I said, as the wind picked up somewhere along the way, hit the, it flared up like a rocket I guess. That's what, I guess that's why they got a rocket stove. It draw the air in through the whole opening and up through the top. And blow up a kettle in about 10 minutes, so that's good. That's what I was looking for, just to, just to compare. And now I gotta see the blowing on there now. I gotta finish that off. Me, my buddy is there waiting for uh, my four legged buddy is there waiting for uh, 
waiting for his share cash so uh we'll get him his, his piece and uh and uh, and enjoy the rest of the day beautiful day guys and so uh thanks for watching make sure you subscribe um hit the like button and leave a comment i appreciate all the comments i, like, I read every one of them uh and uh, and I, I try to respond to everyone uh, as i as i read them so i appreciate all that and so uh, until next time guys take care and uh, see you on the next video